Hi everyone, I'm Kara Santa Maria, and I'm here today at the Los Angeles Zoo with Dr. Karen Bondar, biologist with a twist. What we're going to be talking about is a whole lot of really interesting sex in the animal kingdom. So let's go. Let's go. We are so lucky today because the Komodo dragons here have just come from Prague, from across the world, to the LA Zoo. So I heard the zookeeper use the word hemipenis. <laughs> yes. These guys, you almost want to call it a quad. These guys have two bifurcated penises called hemipenises, one on each side. Because a lot of the times, snakes and lizards, they don't know which side they're going to need to come in on. So basically, you know, they're going to use one double or the other and uh, that's, that's quite a lot of man. Because they kind of wrap around each that's other right. when they exactly. have sex. Exactly, if you, especially if you think of something like a snake, all they can do is wrap. I mean, lizards do have limbs as well, but uh, you know, they're wrapping around each other and they're using one side or the other of, the, of this heavy penis. Kind of scary. <laughs> So it turns out that the larger males are, sim are able to get the women, not because they can be more aggressive, they can't throw that weight around, they never do, but they store more food energy from that eucalyptus oh. and they can create a really long, deep throated sound. <gasps> See, I thought you were gonna say they can go longer. <laughs> for, for a koala, mm -hmm. the fact that he's big isn't helpful as far as being able to bully any other males. But yeah. what being big does is it allows him to create a longer sound. And, and a, then that and attracts the female. deep throated sound that attracts the female. You know, this is a really good one. We talked about that quad penis in some <laughs> of the reptiles. Well, the wallabies don't have a quad, but they have a double. Mm -hmm. They definitely have a clear double uh, trunk, the two penises. And, and why do they have this? Well, females have two vaginas. Why? Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> in these species, they, that's it's just the way that it has evolved. And so we have, in the reptiles, we didn't see anything unique about the female to sort of fit in, yeah. fit in that quad. But in these guys, we've got a double penis and we've got a double vagina. Do they that's double all do it? They, that's just how they do it. They, oh, so they, they do it. them both at the same time. Oh my yeah. God. <laughs> Happy sex tidbit for the day. Oh my god. Karen, you're a little too good at this. I feel like you're honing in on my job oh, a little no, bit. I'm not. Totally not. So I just had to stop us here because the tapir laying over there in the corner, okay, he doesn't look like much, he looks like a great big pig, mm -hmm. but the tapir has one of the largest penis to body size ratios of any animal in the animal kingdom. Mm. I mean, nobody's gonna beat the barnacle. Let's yeah. get that one right out of the water. <laughs> but the tapir- Out of the water. <laughs> <laughs> the tapir has got a massive penis, so much so that it really does look like a fifth leg when, they're, when they have an erection. And not only that, their, their penis is prehensile, so they can move it around in ways that a human male would be completely jealous. <laughs> so let's put it that way. So, you know, respect the tapir. He is, he is a man to be reckoned with. I wonder if big penis also means big vagina. That's a good question. We don't ever talk about the vaginas enough, do we? <laughs> <laughs> That's a really great question. <laughs> So thanks for spending some time with us today at the LA Zoo. This is Dr. Bondar. Come on, talk nerdy to me.